Hey everybody, I'm Alex from Canvas Wiki, and today we will be unboxing and reviewing the PAX Air Pro and the PAX 3 Complete Kit. So in this one, you have the device itself, the USB three, or excuse me, USB C charger, and the pack sticker. Oh, and a little instructional pamphlet. Uh, you will have to buy uh, your cartridges for it separately from uh, a dispensary. So now for the, uh, the pack three complete kit. You have the device itself. And the packaging for both of these things, the packaging has that um that that premium feel, kind of like that uh yeah, like that 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 Apple feel, you know, when you're unboxing an iPhone or something, it feels it's got that smooth cardboard, it's got that that nice sort of weighty feel. It feels uh premium, I guess is the word. Then you have your uh instructional book right there. The keychain packing tool, which is also has a Little scoop on it. Now the device comes standard with the half oven lid here and the flat mouthpiece, which I won't take off because it requires just a little bit of finagling, but it also means that it's pretty secure in there. You have the uh, raised is the word raised mouthpiece. The half oven lid, which uh, the full oven will be 0 0.4 grams and the half oven will be 0 0.2. You have your now. This is a uh, an insert because so, this is a by, by the way it comes uh, by itself. If you were to just buy the uh, the device because it comes with the complete kit and just the package with the device and charger. If you were to purchase it without this, it would be just a dryer vape. However, this comes with the complete package and I believe is about fifty dollars on the website. This is a concentrate insert, so it just pops in there just like with the oven, and it has oh. <laughs> Does come apart into pieces there, and the lid and the actual container itself. Now, all of these things that I have here, you can actually buy replacements for individually uh, on the website, which is fantastic if you're like me and you tend to lose little bits. Otherwise, all this I just like to keep in the container because it has all the slots, it has all the things. It's pretty compact, and I can just sort of put it on the shelf and go back to whenever I uh, need little bits. A little extra O-ring there. A carrying bag. Your charging dock, which you just plug into, you know, your computer, or you can find like a wall adapter. Just sit it right on top. It's a magnetic, so it'll hold this up there. You don't have to worry about balancing it or anything. Then you have the maintenance kit, which will come with standard cleaning tools like your uh, sturdy pipe cleaners, a brush, and some extra screens for your oven. And again. Lots of little small things, but I just like to keep it inside this box because it's, it has all the slots and it's compact and I can go back to it whenever I need it. All right, everybody, let's uh, get into the review. So here we have the unit by itself. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at are the mouthpieces. It comes standard with the uh, flat mouthpiece, which is pretty flush to the device. However, I prefer to use the included raised mouthpiece, just because I kind of like the way it sits. There's no real difference. I just kind of like the way that it sits in the mouth. The uh, button, is right on top for both of them, so the operation is the exact same. It's just a uh, preference thing. And for the bottom, we have three different inserts here. We have the cap for the full oven, which would be about 0 0.4 grams. It's all magnetic, so it just slips on top. And when you need to pop it out, just pressing the edge a little bit, it'll lean right up. Next up, you have the half oven lid, which is, uh, well, I guess, half of 0 0.4, 0 0.2. And this is typically also what I like to use because I, I like to pace myself. And I haven't heard any complaints. I don't have any complaints about using the full oven. It, you know, cooks, I guess, all the way through. Everything gets vaporized. However, it's, it just brings me a little peace of mind to make sure that I'm not wasting anything if I uh, use the slightly smaller batch, you know, really make sure it gets cooked through. So it does come as a, if you only purchase the uh, the device without the, the rest of the kit, it does just come with these oven lids here. However, if you're looking for uh, 
to uh, vape uh, concentrates rather than just dry herb, you can either purchase or it comes in the kit, this little insert here. So it's actually three main pieces. You have the, uh, what's basically just an oven lid. And then the little canister here, which slips right on top. And then the lid on top of that. Now this lid is where this little uh, extra O-ring would go if it just, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but just there's a tiny little, tiny little orange line on it there, which yeah, you can just barely make it, which, uh, you know, might, it hasn't ever fallen off for me. It doesn't really look like it's you know, wearing or tearing or anything, but in case it does, they inc uh, include you a little extra there. So this just pops right on top. Into this, you'd put, uh, I've heard uh, 10 to 20 is the, the about the right amount. Uh, 10 to 20 milligrams, excuse me. However, that's kind of hard to visualize, so most people just usually go by the, uh, the size of like a lentil. Pop it in there, pop it on, and then you'd use it, you know, basically exactly how you'd use it uh, with the dryer. You want to run it at a higher temperature, for, and I've that's what's, you know, what's recommended, and I've found that that is what works. You want to run it at a higher temperature if you're vaping concentrates. It won't actually sit flush to the device itself, but you can kind of see there's just a lift there. That's fine, that's by design. It's not broken, it's not busted all good. Now, when you're packing a bowl, it's a, excuse me, pack, not, a, not a bowl and oven, the term is, uh, when you're filling up your oven, it's, I said, I did say uh, 0.2 grams for the half and 0.4 for the full. However, that's kind of hard to just, you know, you don't want to measure that out every time, but you'll, you'll get the feel for it. It's a couple of inches, pop it in there, give it a quick tamp down. And when it's all been vaped, pop that little metal part out and just scoop it out. To clean it, you're gonna need to pry off your mouthpiece, which is really easy. If it's if it's the large one, you can kind of just push your thumb against it. If it's a smaller one, you can just pop that metal piece out again and just stick it right where you put your uh, where the vape comes through and just just lift it off a little bit, then pull it off with your fingers. So when you pull your mouthpiece off, you're gonna see that there is a uh, I'm trying to angle the camera just a hole there. What you do is you take your pin brush and just gently push it through until. Out there, and the screen pops. The screen will come out nice and easy. And you can separately, you know, clean it off, or if it's really messed up, or you just don't really feel like it, you can use one of the extra screens that they sent in the little bag. Cleaning is pretty standard, pretty simple. You can run it through this a few times, and it's it's not, it doesn't really get, you know, nasty like a, a bong does because it's just vape. It's a or like a resiny coating, so it's it's really really easy to clean off with your brush and your pipe cleaners. And so you can see it's actually, you can't even really see it because again, it doesn't really, really get like clogged up like a bong would. It's just kind of a brownish resin that you, I don't even think you can see on the camera there. And I've been using this like a fair amount. So I, uh, it's really nice the fact that you don't have to like regularly, you know, wash it out, clean it out. Put your screen back in, you just here, we'll use one of the clean ones. Literally just pop it back in there and just give it a, I like to use the brush. Don't, this is apparently quite easy to do. I've struggled with it every time I've done it. Everyone else I've handed this to can do this fine. So this I think is just a, a me thing and not a, not a fault of design. There it is. Just pop it and give it a little press. It'll kind of just give a nice little click into place. The last thing here is just the, uh, just the carrying bag, you know, if you don't want to get. Now this thing isn't, this is not like a really dainty, you know, plastic kind of, you know, don't wanna, don't wanna drop it kind of thing. It's, uh, it survived uh, one or two drops onto my floor and I've heard people can really rattle it around and it can take quite a few serious hits. And the worst you get is just a ding on the uh, metal casing. It's pretty standard if you just wanna keep it nice and really clean looking. Toss it in your, uh, toss it in your bag and uh, you're good to go. Now, all of these things here, there are quite a few different items that I'll just bring in the shot here. There are, uh, are quite a few different bits and baubles here, which again is why I like to just keep everything stored in the box because the box has all the slots and I can just go back to it whenever I need it. However, if you do happen to lose uh, anything here, really, you can purchase a replacement for it on their website. So usage is, uh, usage is real easy. All you gotta do is give it one press. Now it's actually going to be the same button on the flat one that it comes standard with, both right on top. Just give it one little press 
and let it go. It'll be about 15 seconds before you can use it. However, in that time, you can change the temperature setting if you'd like. Give it a press, hold it for one and a half seconds, and then you can see right now that it's actually on the hottest setting. Another click, coolest, slightly hotter, slightly hotter, slightly hotter. Uh, 380 all the way up to, excuse me, 360 all the way up to 420, increasing 20 degrees with every little, uh, every pedal that you add. And then give another one and a half second press and it'll go back into heating to whatever temperature you had it set to and it'll give you a little, uh, little just tiny little buzz when it's ready to go. So you don't have to keep staring at it if you're in public and you don't want to, uh, you know, if you're drawing a lot of attention to yourself, you can just keep it in your pocket and it'll let you know. So once it's good to go, once you're done, you can just give it a quick press to turn it off. Another really nice feature of this is that it has a standby mode. So if it's on and it's heated, but it hasn't been drawn for 30 seconds. And again, you can change pretty much every number that I'm mentioning here uh, with the app, but we're just gonna, you know, again, assume that you're uh, not using the app for this and it's just device only. If you haven't used for 30 seconds, you just sit it down. Eventually it will go into standby mode, which is uh, real nice if you've ever uh, used a, you know, a, a cheaper vape. When it uh, goes into standby mode, it stops heating. With a less expensive one that doesn't have that kind of mode or any setting like that, it will just keep heating and heating usually runs on cycle. So, you know, 60 seconds, 120 seconds, however long you have it set. So you'll press and hold and you'll turn it on, but it'll just keep going. So if you aren't pulling from it actively, it'll actually kind of be wasting your material. Uh, so your options are either turn it off and then let it heat again every time you want to pause and start or uh, just keep smoking and smoking and uh, until you choke on it. With uh, something like this, you don't really have to worry about that. And it's real nice because uh, again, you, it's uh, it's wasteful. So I mentioned earlier that there uh, there is an app which you can use to control a lot of the finer settings. You can absolutely use the uh, device by itself. Just you follow the uh, instruction manuals here. But uh, really, if you want to kind of start taking more control, you can uh, just download an app. It's just the, uh, I just looked up PAX. I'm pretty sure it's just called like, just PAX. And here you can actually connect your device to your phone. So you'll pick your device that you have. I have the PAX3, we're gonna connect that. It'll give you a couple instructions, turn it on, first off. Then just give it a shake, same way you're doing if you're checking the battery. Give it a couple of shakes, there it is. And you'll give it a name. I think I just had mine uh, set to Carl. And it'll give you a couple, like, you know, you can watch an instructional, how to use your thing. Now this is the meat and potatoes of this app. You can, there's a, first off there's the temperature settings, which is a nice dial. You can go all the way from 174 to 215 and that's in the standard settings. And then you can switch to things like uh, boost, which will keep your device running hot, right? It'll, uh, it'll auto cool at a lot slower of a temperature, excuse me, a lot slower of a rate. This is my favorite setting, the efficiency setting, which will actually slowly increase the temperature of your, uh, of your vape. As you uh, as you sesh to make sure that you're drawing everything out at a pretty consistent rate. As the uh, the material gets more and more spent, it ramps up to make sure that it's drawing it out. And you go once for flavor, which will set it kind of lower. You know, just for really get the the flavor profile of your materials. And stealth, which will uh, do things like turn the LEDs down. Kind of like Google Home or just one of those things. It's a uh, very clean, very easy to use. So you actually can have different profiles for your different things here. We have the uh, PAX 3 and you can see that right there. And then we have the PAX Air Pro, which is right here, which is what we have connected. And it's the same thing, just shake it to connect. That's how you, you know, you essentially turn it on to connect to your phone. And from there, you can start. First off, you have your little control dial again. When you see how it's actually running at those hotter temperatures. Like I said, uh, when you're, uh, vaping concentrates, you're going to want to keep those temperatures uh, higher. So this one goes all the way up to 420 from 220. And you can actually see that uh, the different temps will light up differently. You can change it on this device as well. Forgot to mention that. Or if you pop it out, and then just pop it back and forth multiple times. So you'll be at like, you know, 25% capacity, 50%, 75, and all the way up to 100 each time you pop it out and put it back in. Represented the same way uh, as the other one with those little pedals. So one of my favorite parts about pretty much any of the, you know, interconnectivity features between the uh, devices and the uh, phone here and the app here, excuse me, is the fact that you can, so you can look up literally any pod that is, you know, registered and is affiliated with PAX. And they, they only sell like the, 
only this pod, like specifically Pax branded pods can fit this device. So every pod that you could possibly buy for this is somewhere on this app. So you can look through it, you can, you know, search up whatever one you're looking for, but then uh, let's just pick that one. So you can see that while we do have the temperature slide here, you'll see something like uh, this one in this case says expert temp on the little notch there on that slider. And this is the record, there's, there's quite a few different things. That the, some of them have like multiple, some of them just have the expert temp, uh, but they have different notches that'll say things like um, best flavor or, you know, expert temp, which is kind of the recommended vaping temperature. So it's, it's kind of a guided experience if you don't really exactly know what temperature you specifically want to hit this one at each individual strain can kind of have different characteristics, different temperatures. So these guys have it set up so that you can actually just kind of essentially pick from a couple of preset selections and then slowly tune in your way from there as you kind of figure out more about the device and figure out uh, more about what you like. This simultaneously will give like the app while simultaneously giving you like total control. Uh, it is really, 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 really beginner friendly, which is nice, uh, especially for me because I haven't really been using many things that connect with, uh, with Bluetooth. So this is a really, really great way to learn. It was a fantastic way to learn for me. If you're kind of intimidated by, uh, you know, getting into the getting into the, the fine points, the really granular stuff about your, uh, about your vapes. So overall, I'm a uh, really big fan of both of these devices, just starting off with this one. The familiarity, I think, is one of the biggest benefits of this. It's, you know, it's like a jewel, kind of pretty ubiquitous. The pod system, you understand how it works, right? It's fairly inexpensive. Something that's really nice is that USB-C uh, charger. That's you know, pretty much everything you're kicking around nowadays. And the fact that you can still control it with both of these, but you can actually see right now because I'm connected to the uh, the Pro here, you can see that even though it's a lesser degree of control, you can still do everything from the device. You know, a lot of things if they come with an app, either the app is a total gimmick or you like need it to have almost the whole of the function. This. It's a really, really nice middle ground where the app gives you a lot more control, lets you do basically, you know, whatever you want with it. However, it's still a nice guided experience and you can still just use the device by itself. The app is, uh, like I said, just with the, with the Pro here, really, really interesting in that it's not simply just for, you know, temperature control. Cause I've, I've seen a few things like that and a lot of the time they're just kind of, you know, very basic. This gives you recommendations for you know your different pods exactly, uh, what you want to what you want to smoke it at, vape it I guess what you want to vape it at, and then when you get to things like uh, like the Pro here, you can start switching up the uh, the time for when it starts to cool off. You can switch it up. So like I said, the efficiency mode that I like it's where it heats up as you get closer to the end of the sesh. Uh, stealth mode where it's pretty low temp and the LED turns off. A lot of variation for you know different situations, and the fact that it like connects to your phone and this is all so easily you know carried on your person at a time is uh, really important with, uh, I think, devices like this because, you know, you get, like I said, the, the other uh, dry flower vapes are usually kind of clunky, heavy, too weighty, and they don't really fit in your pocket, even though it's kind of what they're touted as, you know, supposed to be a sort of portable alternative. This is like an actual legitimate uh, portable device that's not going to feel like you have six phones sitting in your pocket. So. Uh, this just, like I said, this does just come with exclusively the uh, thing that's by the cartridge by itself. However, the uh, PAX 3 here comes with, I would absolutely recommend getting the full kit if you can, you know, spend that just a touch of extra money on it. Because everything else, if you were to buy it, you know, individually, you buy it, you want to buy it later, it'll, you know, kind of end up being more than just buying it all together at once. Uh, a lot of the time when you end up with, um, you know, devices like this that have accessories and other bits, the you'll usually be sold like eh, 75 or 85 percent of a device and the rest you have to if you want the actual you know full functionality of it you have to go and purchase pieces individually the fact that they all include it in the kit and they include replacements for the little bits that you're probably going to lose and they sell replacements individually for those little bits you're going to lose really like it's it's very clearly like a like a company that's concerned and is minding the user experience and is actually you know i don't want to just say good but is not just trying to sell you their product. They actually, you know, care about uh, how it feels and how it works and uh, care about your time and your money. Uh, something really nice about this is that I haven't run into any clogging issues, which can be uh, can be a real problem when you get to, um, you know, pod systems, generally speaking. Uh, but with this, you know, it's been pretty, pretty clean. I haven't really had any uh, restrictions with the breathing and it's uh, just been a smooth hit all the way through.
It's a miracle. A uh, video where I don't cough. Uh, another really useful feature of the app is uh, in case you ever happen to lose it, uh, you can go into, and each individual device will turn it on for you, each one. Uh, you can turn on the uh, location uh, services and you can actually find wherever you set it down, which is really useful if you're somebody like me who tends to, you know, put something down and then just kind of completely forget that it uh, even exists. I'm Alex Cannabis Wiki, and this has been a unboxing and review of the PAX Era Pro and the PAX 3.